I mean, look, you know, if I were going to be a critic of Brand uh, and others like him, it would be uh, you got to separate in our business correlation and causation. And you can go after Big Pharma. There's plenty of reason to do it. Um, but the idea of linking it to uh, that's what the vaccine was, was a way for them to all get rich and they lied about it. I, I get why people are going to criticize that. But here's my problem. And this is why I'm such a fan of yours, although, as I told you in private and in public, I worry about you and Schellenberger taking on the media this way because I know what can happen to you. And I, I care about you and I care about your work is that you guys are especially you. You are such a no joke journalist uh, that nobody can look at you and your work and your past and say, well, but that guy, you know, they could do that to me if they want but not you. And for you to say that you care about this to me carries a ton of weight. And maybe Brand is wrong. And maybe the people he has on are wrong. And that's okay. When you stop letting people have their opinions, well, but it's dangerously wrong. All you do is empower the position. The people who wanted to shut down Russell Brand made him a now an entity in the media. The people who went after Rogan, for him saying whether it was smart stuff or stupid stuff during the COVID made him a superstar. I think we have to be very careful about that because even if you have good intentions, I think it often flies in your face. And I see more of it happening, not less. What's your take? Yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I think the Streisand effect, which is a, you know, a well-described phenomenon with censorship when you uh, unfairly or you know too quickly, too precipitously uh, shut off access to speech for something, uh, it tends to cause mass audiences to look even harder to find out what that speech was. Uh, if you continually do it, what you will find over time is that the audience for the established permitted outlets will tend to uh, lose audience share and people will go to the other outlet instead, which is the phenomenon we are definitely observing with shows like the Joe Rogan Experience and, you know, and Russell Brand's show. We're, we're seeing them getting up into the four and five million uh, you know, numbers pretty routinely. Joe, Joe Rogan even had a show, I think, that went up to 16 million, if I remember correctly, uh, when he interviewed Snowden. So we don't see those numbers in cable TV anymore. And I think that's a feature of this whole, you know, algorithmic censorship landscape where people are kind of afraid to say certain things and audiences perceive that and they go to the place where they feel like they're getting something that's a little bit more unvarnished. And yes, it absolutely goes to the benefit of, of somebody like Russell. But I believe that's what capitalism is for. You know, you create a market opening for somebody by by creating a product that maybe audiences don't love so much, and right. uh, and this is this is the benefit. This, this is the the, the the downside to that strategy. Well, look, I, yeah, I think the censorship hurts you two ways, or whatever you want to call it: content moderation, discretion, editorial, whatever you want to call it. I just think when you air so definitely on the side of taking away ideas that you don't like or deplatforming, as we say now, people that you don't like, you do two things. One, are you empowered, as I've already said, but two, you make a market in it. There are mm -hmm. all these people who are getting rich on digital media by saying sensationalistic BS because there's now a market for it. Uh, and if we just make it a competitive place of ideas, you and I will do this hopefully for many years. I'll come at things from an angle where you say, yeah, no, I understand why you think that you're just wrong. Uh, and here's why you're wrong. And then people can decide maybe God forbid, we'll do something else. You're not allowed to do, which is say, wow, Matt, I didn't know that piece. All right. Yeah. I get, I get where you're coming on it now. God, we can't do that because you'll go viral for being a dope who got, you know, uh, lit up. You know, it's such a stupid environment. But you're fighting the <laughs> right fight. You're fighting it for the right reasons. And I appreciate you doing it here. Racket News is a great service for people who want to get deeper into things. Uh, he makes it easier to understand uh, what can often be confusing. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com. And you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact driven coverage.